welcome to Bilang Serai, a place where you immerse yourself in food and entertainment with over 500 shops. You could literally find endless of food vendors selling all kind of items. Left at the mall, cause your mama forgot. I know it hurts. Swinging off that $30, we are going to find out exactly how much food we can buy for $30. For the first stop, we head over to this store called Tengiri Fish Kota. We bought 6 Ota and 2 sticky rice for $6. Next stop is this Briyani Dam which sells mutton and chicken. We took the mutton and it cost us $6. And we head over to this shop called Triple Five where they sell milk tea at such low price. We ordered the 1 liter milk tea which cost us only $3. And for that half session, we already spent $15 which left us another $15. Since we got $15 left, we decided to head to Truffles where they fuse between a prata and waffle together. We ordered the truffle cheese which cost us a whopping $10.90, hoping it will taste great. And to our surprise, the taste was absolutely awesome and the feelings was generous. And with $4.10 left, we decided to head over to again and they are so generous they offer us two cups of drinks for free and with that i will let brenda give her verdict hello my 30 dollar right now i still left four dollar and ten cents okay i got it five otas and two sticky rice oh uh, biryani one biryani and uh i got breakfast cheese and then um finally i got two drinks <laughs> actually i get the free drink from triple five boss <laughs> My experience to try all the foods, bubble cheese, this is the best food, okay? Briani is still not best, but to me it's very normal, normal. The drink is perfect. And then the Ota, I like it. Okay, and the sticky rice is very, very nice. Yeah, this is my experience. And I spent less more than $30 for two to three people. And right now I'm very full. <laughs> yeah. Finally, Quick Review Show has officially given it a 9 over 10. So if you are planning to spend $30 on yourself, it is definitely will be more than enough. As we are planning to move forward with travel review, we do comment below on where should we do our review in Singapore next. Remember to give us a like and subscribe if you have not done so. Until then, we will see you next time.